there, gorgeous soul, and welcome to my documentary, The Camino de Santiago, also known as The Way of St. James, where I arrived today. It's a network of many pilgrimage routes that lead to this shrine of the Apostle St. James the Great, where I arrived today. And the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, in gorgeous Galicia, northwestern Spain. The way hasn't even started, but I already had my first lesson and I want to share with you my first lesson. I was in the Netherlands and I was packing. They say, if you want to go far, pack light. I packed a lot of things that they told it was really essential for the way. Brain poncho, sleeping bag, a liner. Well, I arrived in Portugal, my brother put my backpack in my back and said, there is no way you are going to travel walking days and days, carrying uh, uh, in your shoulders so much weight. The first lesson is minimalism and simplicity. I think it's the first one that every pilgrim starts to learn as soon as they decide to pack. You have to choose what's essential and leave behind what is superficial really put thought what is really important for me after all you are going to carry everything you are going to use for the next days and weeks and the lighter you pack the easier your way is gonna be being far from your life your ordinary life and everything that you are used to your comfort zone and the things that you daily do but that's the first lesson, the minimalism and the simplicity. So, this is the beginning of my journey. I left Barcelos this morning, half an hour ago. I managed to be the last one to leave the, the hostel. But you know what? My Camino, my way. I'm gonna enjoy every moment. I'm gonna savor each minute of the way. It's not a rush for me. There is a poem from Constantino Cavafis called Ithaca that explains exactly what I mean about that. Being in the present moment, enjoying every minute.
Très bon. On les a volés. Pour être très honnête, on les a volés. Non, euh, ils sont très gentils. Regarde. Oh. Il t'offre d'entrée si tu veux. Comment Ah. Ah. Muito obrigada, senhora. Muito obrigada. Obrigado. Tu veux goûter Tu veux goûter Ótimos. Délicieux. Ótimos. Hey guys, you wonder if a solo female can do the path the way? Yes, I'm here and look what I found. They are so kind and I said, oh, don't be shy. They stopped me to ask, are you okay? Do you need anything? Yeah, you are very much safe. They take care of you. Don't worry, just go ahead. If you have this plan, just do it. Just do it. The first 20 kilometers of my way to Santiago, all I want is to shower, put my feet above my head and check what else can I get rid of in my backpack. Now, okay, Saskia. Hank. 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 Uh, that uh, someone fight it yeah. cancer. Uh, there's many reasons um, to walk 300 kilometers or even more um, and always respect each other. That's the most important thing. And what's your reason, Tash? My reason? It's just fun. I got the most simple reason, just for fun. I have nothing to discover about myself, but it's all about fun. So the story is that at some point, like in her book, that was the, the blue line. It's the blue line. line. Between yeah, guide. I, don't guide. A, I don't have a guide. I don't have a book. That's it's like between Villa du Conde and uh, to, to Rapesh. Okay? There's like a connection line. Uh -huh. And what happened is that the color on, in that book of the line was blue. Yeah. So she thought from La Bruche, that's what, where she slept, uh, that next morning she thought, I will follow the blue line. Is the blue <laughs> arrows. It was the other way. And it was the other way. The other oh, way. So she kept on like, walking in brown oh, in circles. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> you came on, I, I was really like, you yeah. came back from Fana at 6 p.m. and still up. Oh my god! It was god. an extra 10 kilometers. An extra 10, <laughs> 10 kilometers. But she made it, it was 32. So, yeah, good, good job. It. Good job. Good job. I found out about the arrow collar through yeah. like a couple running yeah. the Alberg and Rattus. We all have this type of stories. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max Verstappen, oh, the, the, the Formula One driver or like any, any other Dutch uh, uh, contest that you see in the streets, you see about two or three thousand people going That's why they call it the Orange Army or the <laughs> la, Laranja Mecanica You know what it means? La, laranja Mecanica? And the national team of The national Holland, team of Orange. 1980 yeah, yeah. Orange team, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, With they, Van Basten uh, uh,
and rises. Look how beautiful this place is. É a tasca das fadinhas.
say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Lee from Malaysia. So what have I done this morning? I woke up very early, very early. It was 6.30, I think. And I checked my bag, everything. I took away one uh, bra, a lot of underwear, a lot of socks, uh, a knife that I was using to, op to open bottles of wine and a lot of stuff. It was almost two kilos. Uh, our host was not wake up uh, yet, but I left a bag on a shelf and I sent them a message. Would you please, whenever you have time, post that for me. And I gave the address of my brother here in Portugal. I took the chance and I started to walk. If they were not willing to, it was also not a big um, feliz. I was not going to lose many things. As I already said, we need a lot of less than we think in life. We are born naked and we can take anything with us. Oh, here we are walking in the countryside and sharing the way with those. Sky handmade by God. Oh, you're going for a walk? Oh, I'm gonna buy a cigarette. <laughs> Something like I'm that. For a walk. No way. Yeah, yeah, hang out I with her buddy. Know. I would say I would figure it out while I'm on the Camino. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys. She made me do it. Oh, <laughs> with your beautiful knee. <laughs> We've done it before. And this is our third it. one. And we enjoy the walk and seen. we enjoy the other pilgrims. Oh. That is sweet. Mm. Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> and Yuli? I don't know. I just... I just come here to do something different. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yes. And what are the lessons that... Guys, you have to look at the green light. What are the lessons that you took from this Camino? Or the Caminos in general? Rocks oh. hurt. <laughs> wow. Easy does it. Yeah. yeah. Not too far, not too fast, not too heavy. Easy does it. Easy does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, simplicity, I think, it's the, the first lesson that I've learned. 
that we don't need much to learn. Mm -hmm. What can you mm -hmm. say about the lessons of the weather? Casey. I like that. Your turn. Ah. Mm -hmm. Take You're it day interview. by day. Just day by day. No plan. No plan in advance. See what no comes. No plan in advance. I like that too. See what comes. Flexibility. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I've learned that lesson. Learn, awesome. learn uh, from the other. Uh, however. Can, you Pilgrims. should have also learned that if you don't plan in ahead, you walk two stages and <laughs> injure yourself. <laughs> oh, mm. so you've got to find a sweet a balance, balance between balance. Exactly. Balance. planning and, um, and leave some room for flexibility. Exactly, exactly. Knowing yourself and your limits. That's, that's stretch. those things stretch. that you will learn. Oh, I'm traveling around and uh, well doing really fast and I realized that I I miss a lot of things I miss talking to people I miss to stay in place like that I, I'm really not enjoying it I was in a race yes you have to enjoy the moment moments like this dis-moi s'il vous plaît bonjour bonjour salut Barbara <laughs> salut uh, quelle course on marché à Santiago Quelle course? Uh, on marchait à Santiago. Oui, oui de, depuis, euh, de, nous, depuis Porto. On est parti, on est parti de... depuis Porto il y a huit jours. jours maintenant. Et toi, voilà. toi aussi? Et on arrivera Moi? à Santiago mercredi. mercredi prochain. Et toi? Mercredi aussi. Mercredi aussi. Oh, il va y avoir du monde à Santiago. Et, Et pourquoi? Pourquoi marcher? Oui. Hein? Pour le plaisir de rencontrer des gens. Ah, oh, ça c'est beau! Pour faire, pour faire le vide dans sa tête. Attention! Oh, attention. Bon camino! Bon camino! Bon camino. Bon camino. Bon Pourquoi? Ca... Pour faire le vide dans sa tête. On fait ça pour soi et aussi pour les autres, pour les belles rencontres. Les belles rencontres. Oui. Oui, c'est vrai. Ça c'est très bon. Le plaisir de te Très joli. Et toi, tu marches. Oh. Ouais. marches pour... Je marche pour rencontrer euh, Barbara. Barbara. Réfléchir. <rire> Réfléchir. Et tu marches peut-être pour rencontrer ton prochain fiancé Non, 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 j'ai un fiancé. Ah, mais <rire> So one of the lessons of the Camino is the camaraderie or connection, the shared experiences and mutual support 
among pilgrims can foster a sense of connection and friendship and empathy, reinforcing the idea that we are all part of a larger human family. Although, at this moment I'm walking alone, I see somebody very far away from me walking and nobody in front of me. Every now and then I stop and we keep seeing the same people over and over again walking and um, on the hostels and we are taking care of each other. Oh, I see two far behind me. Isa and Louise, <laughs> what are the reasons that you are walking the way? Just for fun, to yeah. be honest, to have the experience of walking a long distance. And meeting nice people. Yes. Thank oh. you. <laughs> that should be me. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Now, Marcel, tell me, what is the reason of enjoying this Camino? Every moment. Just be yourself and be on the Camino. And take it easy and get there. And no hurry, okay? Why is this that? This is what How are you... people normally? Ah, some people, you find all different type of people. Okay. People that are desperate to get to the next station to the next point people that are just taking it easy and all different types of people i don't know it's, and what type are you i don't know that's why i'm here in the community <laughs> to get to I'm, know I'm, you i'm trying to find myself no i'm kidding I'm, I'm just having a good time with my friends people that i met during my first Camino, this is my second Camino, and we all became friends during the first Camino, and now we are doing the second, Bon Dia. Bon Dia! Yeah. And this but is this a, is a good lesson that the Camino teaches you, to live yeah, at the present yeah. moment. What does it say there? When is it local, that are this place, in the beginning of the 90s, that the first arrow was born ah, okay. on the Camino de Santiago. The way it is, the yellow arrow. Yeah, yes. that was that guy in... Um, okay. So this was the place where... The guy that's buried in Oshibre. When they put the first e arrow. E first. Now, Roger, what are the lessons of the Camino for you? Um... I decided to do it because it's hard and I needed to do something a little harder than what I've been doing over the last few years. So it's putting myself out. So getting out of your comfort zone. Yes. America. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer to die walking on the Camino than watching TV and sitting on a sofa at home. Yeah, making symbiosis with the couch with popcorn in your hands. <laughs> and eating popcorn. So I'm leaving Portugal behind. I'm crossing the river. How beautiful, huh? And going to Tui in Spain. Yes! Then I'll 
wish <laughs> is that <laughs> throw the, get a, throw the ashes in the river. Una, una cerveza pequeña. Una cerveza pequeña. Estrella. ¿Quieres la oreja? De caña, no? Oreja, yeah. tapas de oreja, ¿no? De caña. No. Uh, Lee. Oh. Para, yes. Para los, para Roger. Sí. Chao. Chao. No. no. Francis. No. 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 Oh. My ashes in the river. Okay. 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 Because uh, Lee record, is record, the record, only record, one. Record. Lee is the only person that I can trust. In this yes. table. In this table. <laughs> no, you <laughs> don't trust me. You yes. don't trust me. Well. No, 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 no. You throw my ashes in the river. Okay. <laughs> no, not river. We should go to the ocean. Yeah, oh far. yeah, Finis I, I can do it for you. I don't want you to carry weight on your back. I will do it for you, no problem at all. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Which which ocean, ocean do you like? Uh, Finisterra. 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 Okay. Finisterra. Moi j'adore les champignons. Oh oh C'est un, un cep. Cep. Cep de Bordeaux. Cep de Bordeaux. Oui. Mmh. Très bon. Délicieux. Délicieux. <rire> Avec du entrecôte. Oh. Oui, hein. Johnny, coucou Johnny. Oh là là. Oh là là. Tout va bien. Mais regarde parce qu'elle est notre. Oh. <rire> Conversation and my life feels so vacant. Without you, I'm just moving in between a sad reality. No, I'm patient, but I've been out here waiting for someone else to fill the void in me. A harsh reality. And I've heard you're with someone else. Well, I'm here by myself, holding on to what you left. Was it all in my head when you said you loved me? Cause no one can love me better than you did And I'm still not over it Did you forget? I put you before me So one of the lessons of the Camino is the camaraderie or connection the shared experiences and mutual support among pilgrims can foster a sense of connection and friendship and empathy, reinforcing the idea that we are all part of a larger human family 
Although, at this moment I'm walking alone. I see somebody very far away from me walking and nobody in front of me. Every now and then I stop and we keep seeing the same people over and over again walking and um, on the hostels and we are taking care of each other. Oh, I see two far behind me. Good morning. Franco, buongiorno. Good morning, buongiorno. Morning, morning, morning. Skip this one, she doesn't want to be in the, in the internet. <laughs> Bom dia. Bom dia. <laughs> Every summer we have fun. The sun goes down. Everybody's gonna walk. Everybody's gonna be so young. All the beautiful girls of all, coming in so balls along. Oreos. Oreos. Except for, he says, oh. What do you say about this? It's a grain bin that is made so that rats can't get upside down and around so the they can, yeah so they can't get into the green bin another of the big lessons that the camino teaches you is the spiritual connection it doesn't matter what is your religion or your beliefs it offers a big opportunity to be with yourself and explore this connection with the universe the journey of historical and sacred places like this behind me and a lot of places that we pass through is an invitation to the pilgrims to think about this connection with the divine your own sense of spirituality after all you spend a lot of time alone with yourself i don't need a church to connect with the divine the whole nature for me is a big church. Everything we live, 
you feel you are a part of this nature, this universe, this source and your own sense of spirituality flourish. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? Je suis en train de ramasser et de manger des coquillages des coques. Les... espagnols. Des les coquillages espagnols. Des palourdes. Palourdes, ça s'appelle. Des coques, non? C'est plus C'est des coques. On appellera ça des coques. Ah, ok. C'est plus gros, Tu vois, regarde. C'est des coques. C'est ça. Les coques. Ok. Et ça se mange. Ça se mange. Tu veux goûter? Tu veux goûter, Barbara? Ah, pourquoi pas? Ah, c'est une expérience, c'est son bon avis. Eh? D'accord, d'accord. Allez, viens. Ah, oui. C'est pas de, de la même chose. Les roll ups Non, non. ok. Tiens, bien. Bien. Merci beaucoup. Regardez-moi tout. Mmh. Mmh. C'est très iodé. Bien. Yeah. C'est beaucoup de mer. Un, un petit de salt. Ouais. Salt. Sel. Sel. Ouais. sel. Petit de sel. Ouais. sel. Petit goût de sel. Ouais. 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 Délicieux. On appelle ça le caviar de la mer. On va chercher. Le caviar de la mer, c'est le sel. Je vais en chercher Merci beaucoup. C'est dans l'eau. Mmh. Délicieux. Pas. Tu m'as envoyé une photo mmh. Ah, c'est de moi avec Eric. <rire> Quand, Quand il me prend dans ses bras. Il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, et ça me fait quelque chose. Another strong lesson of the pilgrimage is the gratitude. The challenges that we face in the Camino can help us cultivate the gratitude over every small, simple thing, like a comfortable bed, a good meal, the kindness of strangers. Not all the time we are walking in beautiful places like this. We are sometimes walking on the road <laughs> with the cars and everything. Not all the time we have landscapes that are like National Geographic, but people are. People are so kind and nice. Most of them. I have made so great connections. Of course, I, I've met thousands of people, but the, there are those 20 that we are all the time together. We walk, we pass each other, but then we arrive at a cafe and everybody is there. We arrive at the beach, everybody is there. And we sing together, we walk together, we laugh together. We connect in every language of the planet Earth. And it's so nice. I'm so glad to be here and appreciate. I'm so grateful for this present moment and all the beautiful things that it has brought me. Look at this. Beautiful or not? I may say I am drunk. I'm drunk of the Camino. I have so much endorphins, serotonin uh, in my blood that I am drunk from the Camino, not only from the sangrias. And everything teaches a lesson, like even the pain, pain in my knees, teach the lesson of my, how far can I go? What can I do? Listen to my body and be grateful for the pain that is here for a reason to help me know what are my limits. What an experience. Ladies, why do you walk to the Camino? Because we want to step out of our comfort zone. That's a beautiful one.
The day started very early. 5.30 I woke up and it's just too dark. We are walking. But I must say, I'm not walking the way. The way is walking me. I'm already part of this way, this path, this Camino. Camino está mi caminando. Today, I decided to give my body the same good treatment I've been giving my soul. I took a break to recharge, so I stayed here. I'm in Pontevedra. Look, here's the cathedral. Random thoughts of the day are forget about planning everything, expectations, romantic dreams, just like life. The Camino is a wild roller coaster. So unrealistic hopes, expectations are just like waiting for a unicorn to deliver your pizza. It will just lead to frustration. Ditch the schedules and agendas. I just plan one day at a time. It's not a race, it's a ride. It's, it's about the adventure. Take a time because when it ends, you wish you're still at the Camino. I had someone waiting for me and I was running, running to make the schedule meet their, their needs. But I also have to listen to my body and my limits. I, I had so much pain in my knees. So I took the day off to slow down so I can make it to the end. And it's really not a rush. Why should I do that? I have uphills, downhills. Sometimes it's really exhausting. So you have to prepare yourself physically and mentally. You see breathtaking loops, but sometimes you all will, you, you walk on the road along with, with cars and smelling diesel in your lungs. And take time to walk with other people. Take time to connect and to have a reason on your own to do the Camino, not somebody else's, not in their speed or for their reasons. So dance at the beat of your own drums. Listen to what your body has to say. Chill, connect with other walkers, be open. The Camino is all about meeting new people. So most of my friends 
people I've met here are still walking. So I'm here alone in this beautiful Pontevedra. And it's, it was a wonderful experience to be somewhere I don't know anybody. Trust me, it's worth it. People think, oh, poor Barbara is traveling alone. No, I'm a very good company to myself. I love to be by myself. And if I, I was with someone else, maybe I wouldn't have met so many people all over the world. I would have to accommodate their needs and their body and their speed to mine. No, I don't. I'm walking in my own pace. This cathedral is oh, <laughs> this cathedral is really beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I like it. Uh, the bells are ringing. Near my. Okay, that's the message of the day. And tomorrow, before the sun rises, I'll start again my communion. Starting the day all by myself. As the day starts, I think about the lesson of awareness of impermanence changing. Like the river, like the moon, like the stars, like the seeds. Walking through changing landscapes and interacting with different people every day, different way of things, different languages, remind us of the lesson of impermanence in life. This realization leads to uh, a deeper appreci appreciation of the present moment. I say all the time that things change. The moon spins around earth. The earth spins around the sun. You don't cross twice the same river. But we not always remember that. When we are in the comfort zone, things are always the same. All the days are the same. But here, look. Everything is so different from the place I live, from the people I talk to from my day-by-day -day life, I remember. And I'm grateful for the change. Around four years ago, I was stuck in a situation that I saw no way out. And here I am, very grateful. Look at this, how beautiful this is. I'm very grateful. Things change and I can look back and choose the memories I want to stick with me by the end of life and the lessons and remember that things don't happen for me, to me. Look at this. Oh my god, this is so simple. Look at this.
job, knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All it really take is a little taste. Alan girl, blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, I got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. So I stopped in this beautiful place here just to share something I just acknowledged. Let me see if my phone stops here. Yeah. When you start the Camino, you receive something that it's sort of a passport. This is credencial de peregrinos for, for the pilgrimage. You put here your data and in each church that you stop or restaurant or museum or something like that, you get a stamp, a different stamp. This is how it looks like. And once you are in Santiago and you give this passport, you receive a sort of a diploma, the Compostela. You don't have to start where I started. If you walk just the last 100 kilometers or if you are in a bicycle 200 kilometers, you can already get your Compostela. So I see that there are many people more here since we are arriving, since we are near Santiago than before, because a lot of people walk just the last 100 kilometers. I see a lot of more Spanish people here. This is something that they do that is very popular. But for me, of course, the Compostela is very nice to have, to, to display or to put on the wall, but it's more about the experience than to have a diploma. But anyway, it's getting crowded. Let me show. So much more than before. about that what are the lessons of the day first in this epic adventure don't follow the crowd follow your own head 
second acknowledge when you're wrong and fix it and third pay attention to the signs pay attention to the i am really distracted i am going from one beautiful thing until the other and i just lost the sign but luckily here i am enjoying my spiritual adventure this journey and everything and now it's time to relax and tomorrow begin to walk again sabina tell me after four times walking the Camino, what are your experiences and tips to the people who are about to, to start? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the first time I had this idea that it would be, you know, what, I would be this lone woman walking in the wilderness and um, it was full of people, but I really, really loved it. I made a lot of friends. Which um, one did you make? First was Camino Primitivo. Okay. I oh, know. Sorry, the Norte, and then I, uh, then we deviated onto Primitivo. Um, and on the Norte, I was going with my friend, and we met a few people, but we hadn't like stuck with anyone. And on Primitivo, we created this little family, and there was twelve of us walking all the time together. We're still friends, so it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and the third one I did this winter. It's Camino de Invierno, the, the winter one. And th this time I knew how Camino looks like, so I was really looking forward to meeting people, and there was nobody. Uh, the entire, I did it, I think, in seven days, because there was nothing to do, so instead of going 20 kilometers, I would go 30 or 40. And my personal Whoa. record was 62 in one day. Jesus! <laughs> and only one day before Santiago, I met another pilgrim, and the entire Camino, not a single person, always alone, every hostel, every hotel. Uh, yeah, it was quite a thing, a different thing. And now, Camino Portuga Portugues, the Costa, um, I made some, made some new friends and uh, yeah, it's been really good. <laughs> <laughs> the temperature is crazy. It's mid or almost, yeah, mid October and it was th over 30 degrees almost every day and half of my backpack is stuck for the rain. So yeah, the, the tip is check the temperature. Yeah. And also maybe uh, check how many people there are because we didn't expect it to be this busy and we couldn't get a place to stay many times. Today we're staying in a hotel. Yesterday we stayed at the beach. We slept at the beach, which was awesome. At the beach? Yeah. Oh, um, that is very pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we have two more nights, but we really struggled to find a place to stay. So um, I don't know what to, what to advise because I think it's hard to know how many people will, there will be. You know, so. Do you prefer to walk alone or to walk with more people? Uh, both. I need my time alone to, you know, to think about all the crap I brought here <laughs> from real life. And I do like making new friends and learning from them and you know, hearing their stories and getting their food. <laughs> and what are the lessons that you've learned in the Camino? Mm. Well, this one is a hard one. I think um, I only realize the lessons once I'm back home, you know, um, yeah. and it's hard to know what there will be until you've learned them. But you time, have to land back yeah. home. But I think Camino is just a little bit like normal life, but enhanced. So whatever you do in your life, in, in, in your normal life, then he will be um, ten times bigger, Yeah, stronger. You know? Yeah, like people pleasing, you know, you need so many people, you, in normal life you don't need that many people every day, you know, or, I don't know, uh, being selfish, if you're selfish at home, you are with three people, but here you are selfish with 30 people, so I think it's just really enhanced, um, yeah, I think the lesson is to um, stick to your plan, if you have one, but also let go and just don't try to force anything because let the cam Camino take you rather than you force the Camino. Well, are you sticking to your plan today? No, but <laughs> there aren't places on the boat, so uh, the original plan uh, cannot be made because yeah, it's it's everything is booked, but maybe that's the lesson, you know, for me to... Be flexible. Yeah, and just accept that there are things that I cannot change, you know? Yeah. Okay, or thanks. Oh, to plan in advance. I don't know. I just have to. I think it's the, it's really hard for me to surrender and let go of, of what I wanted or expected. So I think the lesson for me is to do that. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>
I'm going walking in the morning. Ding dong, bells are gonna ring. Shine, okay. beautiful people hello here I am with Carlos Cambra he's done the, the way many many times hola Carlos que tal hola muy buenas Carlos me ha dicho que, que ha hecho el camino muchas veces sí, siete veces siete Esta es veces. la séptima vez seven here seven times you can look to the green puedes mirar el verde sí sí el primer camino lo hice en bicicleta desde San Gespi de Port a Santiago en 2009, uh -huh. en 11 días, fueron 890 kilómetros. Y wow. el segundo lo hice desde San Gespi de Port hasta Pamplona, un tramo con mi mujer embarazada, de mi hijo mayor. ¿Embarazada? Ya, no. cuatro meses, sí. ¡Oh, qué guay! Y fue muy bonito y, y la verdad que lo recuerdo bastante, bastante. Luego he hecho dos veces el camino primitivo desde Oviedo. ¿Con tu mujer? ¿Con, con, no, con el solo, bebé? Solo, 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 ya solo, todos, los otros ya solo. Eh, es el que más amo porque es el más, más bonito de todos, el más duro también. También he hecho desde Santiago Finisterre Muxía, muy bonito también. Es. Eh, es, bueno, ese es, sobre todo Muxía es, es lo más bonito. Me, tiene más nombre Finisterre, pero Muxía me gusta mucho. Y el año pasado hice desde Aguarda, la frontera de, de Portugal, todo por la costa, hasta Santiago. Y este año estoy haciendo... ¿En cuánto des, tiempo? Ese son ocho días. Y este año estoy desde Oporto a, a Santiago en once días. Son tre, casi 300 kilómetros. Y de momento va bien, ya queda poco y... Sí, estamos casi. Casi, casi, casi. Casi, casi. Carlos, dime, ¿por qué haces el camino? ¿Por qué caminas? ¿Cuál es la, la razón? Desconexión. Eh, ya llevamos todo el año muy con estrés, con, eh, con los niños, con el trabajo, con todo, todo muy... Hoy en día es todo un estrés. Y me voy solo por eso, porque es desconexión... Eh, conocer gente, mm, deporte y conocerse a, a uno mismo espiritualmente es eh, sanear la mente y un reset y volver a, a comenzar otro año. Realmente por eso. Reset, conocerte yeah. a uno mismo. Yeah. Get to know you and then you will be free. That's beautiful. ¿Cuáles son les, las lesiones del camino para ti? Principalmente rodilla y tobillos, es la, las principales, muscularmente depende de, de, de la carga que lleves, es muy fácil, rodillas o, o tobillos es lo que más se suele cargar en, en, la, en el Camino Santiago. Mis rodillas están cocidas. <risa> ¿Verdad? Sí, yo comencé al principio siempre llevando mochila, pero desde hace unos años eh, probé, me dijeron prueba sin mochila un día y si al día siguiente quieres volver a ponértela, te la pones, pero pruébalo un día. Desde que la probé ya... ya... Bueno, este año he hecho dos etapas, con tres, tres etapas con mochila. He hecho 37 kilómetros la primera etapa, 40 la segunda y luego 37 y... Pero eso es demasiado. Ya, sí, sí, sí. Es... Has caminado mucho. Sí, con... sí, sí, ¿Y cuánto sí. pesa tu mochila? 8 kilos. Oh. 8 kilos. Y... Por Dios. Una locura. No, 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 no. De hecho, he comprado una mochila nueva y, voy a man... y la voy mandando todos los días. Carlos, dime. 
¿Cuál es el aprendizado? El aprendizaje. El aprendizaje. Del Muchas gracias. En el camino. Sí. En el sentido espiritual, en el sentido... Eh, principalmente, eh, bueno, cada persona viene por una cosa. Cada persona viene por o deporte o religión. ¿Cuál es tu motivación? Mi motivación es lo que, como te he comentado, eh, desconexión y un reset porque es que es necesario totalmente. Porque el estrés de hoy en día es una locura y me voy saneado. Conozco mucha gente todos los años y sobre todo eh, me encanta la gente el, en el Camino Santiago. Eh, te lo dan todo. Es muy amable y te ayudan en lo que fuera. ¿Verdad? Fuera, fuera del ¿verdad? camino es complicado encontrar a gente que te ayude así. O sea, oh, pienso que el camino es, es como la vida. Si, si tú eres una persona agradable, gentil, uh -huh. se, lo, se lo da más que lo quita, las personas también van a ser así contigo. Sí. El camino te provee. Sí. Se, se puede... El camino saca lo mejor de ti. Saca lo mejor. Sí. Sí, sí. The Camino provides. El camino if you hay can que probarlo. Preciso. If you can pay, if you can Quien pay. prueba ya repite siempre. Es como una adicción el camino. Una adicción. Ya. Yeah. Es, es, estás uh, pensando en el próximo. Sí, siempre. Te vas cansado y. Uf, pero a los dos días ya quieres volver otra vez a, al camino. Sí, sí. Todos los años me pasa. Muchas gracias, Carlos. Muchas gracias a ti. So I'm here with Anna Marie and Brenda from South Africa. That's yep. it. We How many Caminos have you done, ladies? Two. This is our second one. Yep. Okay. And what are the lessons of the Camino for you? It's time, good time. to spend time on your own. With yourself. Time for yes. you. Mm -hmm. Think about you. Not the washing mm -hmm. and normal stuff. You walk and you focus on yourself. You get away from your normal life. Yeah. And you break away. You don't carry burdens and no stresses and no whatever else that kills life for you. So back light. Yeah. Back light. Don't yeah. oh, yes. leave the stuff behind. And I mean that in real life too. Leave the stuff behind. Yeah, I don't carry things from... And don't, from don't search for stuff either. Yeah. Stop, yeah. stop focusing on wanting nice furniture, wanting, wanting this, mm. wanting that. No, create memories. Travel, speak to people, see the world. That is life. And we're not yeah. youngsters, and that's what I can say, please. Yeah. And yeah. I say that to my nieces and my nephews. Explore the world. Don't go for stuff. No, and the material things are not important. No, mean what is better to buy things or experiences? Experiences, experiences definitely. For sure. Mm. Make memories. Mm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's the big lesson of the Camino, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Backlight. Backlight. Bye. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, hey? Backlight. Yes, it is. Absolutely. I packed three sets of clothing this time. Yeah, me too. Last year I had a suitcase full. Yeah, me too. And still, and I, maybe next time I'll, I'll carry two. Exactly. I'll carry my backpack. I don't have to send my, my suitcase in. Yeah, pack light in life also. Pack, that's the issue. Pack travel light. Travel light. I'm going to go back and sell everything. Yes. Donate, sell. You know what? I Get rid exactly of. We're much older than you. We've collected all the fancy stuff. You are not much older than me. Oh. That's not true. How old are you? 56. Oh. 63 and 72. Oh, no. ladies. Yes. It's time to go up fast. You've been collecting, collecting, collecting. It's time to get rid of that. Don't yes. Don't want it. Your vintage don't look for it. No, no, no. I don't want it. So just. Yeah. You're but only get but rid of it. But you know what's precious? What? That fridge magnet on my fridge. Yeah, yes. 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 I collected them. Me too. Oh, that, uh, each one of those yes. are so memories of. And it makes you travel. think of the times. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
has great memories. Yes. Each Absolutely. magnet. Absolutely. It's the pain of our husband's lives. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We wow. love <laughs> magnets. Wow. Yes. It's fun. So this is La Ruta de la Piedra y Auga, also known as Stone and Water Route. It's part of the spiritual variant from the Camino de Santiago. What makes this route very interesting is its unique combination of natural beauty, historical significance, spiritual elements. Some highlights are the natural beauty, the picturesque landscapes here in the north and Spain, particularly here in the Basque country and Cantabria regions. You see beautiful rivers, uh, waterfalls, uh, everything. It's serene. It's the countryside. It makes this uh, a rich spiritual journey. It's also significant in history. You know that all the Camino de Santiago, including this Variante Espiritual, the La Ruta de la Piedra y Alga, is rich in history and tradition. After all, I am following the path of pilgrims that have been walking here for centuries. I'm visiting small pueblos, churches, landmarks along the way. This connection with the past adds depth to my pilgrimage. But it's also a spiritual experience. Like in the main Camino de Santiago, this spiritual variante, La Ruta de la Piedra y Alga, offers pilgrims an opportunity to be with themselves, reflect. It's a personal growth journey. You have a deeper connection with the spirituality. It's a journey of self-discovery, self-transformation. Here is less crowded. All the main caminos get quite crowded, especially now that we are um, closer and closer to Santiago. But here you see fewer pilgrims. This offers a more serene and contemplative experience for those who are searching for calm, reflection, think. There are unique stops along the route, like religious sites, like this one that was this morning, the monastery. Here, there was a dark pass of the 
Spanish Inquisition. So I've got to reflect about the difference between religion and spirituality. And I see myself as a spiritual person. Buenos dias. No, I said it was quiet. <laughs> Finally, I see some pilgrims. That's it. So, where are you Where you What? Come on, let's go. What you say? Today I'm here at Villanova de Arrosa and unfortunately 
the weather is not so nice but it's a beautiful beautiful city let me show you a little bit of it see that those small streets where the car almost doesn't fit houses of stones very nice and since there's nothing to do i'm going to search for a library and buy a book to read in spanish to practice my spanish and wait until the albergue opens at one o'clock to see if i find a place to sleep tonight otherwise i'm screwed <laughs> Let's cross fingers and hope for the best. my favorite writer I read that book around 30 years ago and I'm I mean to read it again look how beautiful here oh the bells are ringing me and my boy wherever I go wherever I go the churches ring the bell coincidence I don't believe it's a welcome party for me that you're doing the Camino. <laughs> well, not purely religious, but, but sort of, it wasn't a lie when I said I was doing it with a spiritual intent. This spirituality. This was my last Camino. And how many years ago was that? 19 years. Wow. And you had to sign a thing to say it was for a religious vow. Mm. So I had to kind of Sorry. Accommodate. Accommodate. Half a lie. Half a lie. Half a lie. But it was a holy year that year, so I think that gave me atonement for myself. All for yourself. <laughs> okay. okay. I will Catholic. I'm not. I'm I, anything I but religious. I afterwards, and I burned all my, you know, things I walked in. Oh my gosh. But no, that's what we all did. The Spanish said, oh, you had to do that. Oh, it's, it's a very virgin. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you had to stand in the water. Naked. Stand. Yeah, well, not quite naked. Oh, on. but um, we burnt everything we walked in. It was actually fantastic ritual. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, it didn't go at all. It was to yeah. burn the bed bugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the not to kill the bra. <laughs> yeah, but it was a nice ritual doing yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So today I want everything I'm wearing now. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so a bit worn and safe. It's very worn. You don't think I'm burning. You're thinking of your carbon footprint, don't you? That's, that's right. why you're not burning. That's, 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 I don't have so many outfits that I can burn. <laughs> no. I'm packing so light. Yeah. 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 Maybe burning. So all of your outfits three. are very elegant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I love the dress that you were wearing in Ponte oh. Pedro when we met you. Thank that's you. Short dress oh, yeah. is very floral, very colourful. I met an 83-year-old <laughs> French woman who looked elegant walking, and then yeah. she came to our dinner that night when we were standing on this. In high oh, heels? No, but she had this black dress and this lovely Whoa. scarf that she wore like Jen would wear, and she looked a million dollars. And I thought, you know, you're the epitome of an elegant French, French woman. woman. And she was carrying everything herself too, you know. She had three. lots of choices in your Oh, yeah. no, but French women are so elegant, yeah, aren't but they? Yeah, mini capsule wardrobe, obviously, mm. of elegant stuff. But especially the scarf, I thought... And the little nice black scarf. dress. Yeah, yeah. Mm. a little black thing with, shoe, you know, spaghetti straps or whatever. I mean, she was tall and elegant, yeah. But this Camino is so different from the other Camino I yeah. did, which was nearly 19 years ago. And I did it with a New Zealand friend of Peter, a gay, very extroverted friend. And I think I was a bit more extroverted then. And we ended up with this bunch of Spanish, Spanish people. And for the next 30 days, we all walked together and chatted and had a very social time. 
Where's this one? It's all been on my own. You know, this is 23 days now. And it's been mainly solitary, just dipping in and out of conversations. But mm. I've just, I love the solitary time. So what did, what did you love about it? It's, I realise I really like my own company. And I don't need other people mm -hmm. to provide that, you know, external thing. And I've also enjoyed just going inside. Yeah. Even during the, the horrible bits, like that walk from Porto, which was pretty ugly and on the <laughs> I've, I've just enjoyed just, you know, being able to center inside. Yeah. And that's been a real lesson. That's my Camino lesson. <laughs> My own company and just finding that peace with it. But I've enjoyed the community as well to dip yes. in and out. So you can, you've got a choice. Yeah, yeah. When you are walking alone, you have that choice of being yeah. alone or being with others. That's that right. I really loved as well. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. I just had a lovely lunch. Now I'm gonna read my book. Another day rises. Seven o'clock in the morning. It's already winter time, so the sun is coming later. Part for nine or something. I'm going to pick up a boat to keep my journey to Santiago de Compostela. Let's go. Santiago. Hombre, hombre. ¡Oh! ¿Es verdad o no? Vamos camino de Santiago. Ah, sí. Tenemos una hora y media de travesía aproximada. La orientación natural que tenemos en la ría es norte para allá, norte, sur, este y oeste. Nosotros vamos a navegar dirección nordeste. Vamos a ir en esta dirección. Vamos a salir de la ría de Arosa y entrar en el río Ulla. ¿Entienden lo que hablo? Sí. sí. En el río Ulla veremos 12 cruces de piedra que forman el único vía crucis marítimo único en el mundo en honor al apóstol Santiago. Durante la travesía tenemos un té, unas magdalenas, bueno, unos curasanes y un poquito de zumo. Es totalmente oferta de la casa. Durante la travesía, si tienen alguna curiosidad o alguna pregunta, pregúntenos que si podemos contestarles, encantados de poder hacerlo. Bienvenidos a bordo una vez más. Venga, vamos, gracias. Muchas gracias. gracias.
at this sky. Wow! No hay sábado sin sol, ni María sin amor, say people here in Galicia. There is no Saturday with no sun or María without love. So just getting out of the boat, I crossed the bridge to the other side and I bought a coffee at a bar just to use the bathroom. Well, the bathroom didn't have toilet paper or soap to wash my hands. But anyways, it was okay. Then I was having my coffee and I saw a board on the wall saying, I only give crap. Oh, I love those. I want one of those to take to my home. I'm going to buy them if I find. So I saw this board that was saying, I only give credits to people older than 90 that are with their parents. And I thought, oh, that's funny. So I took a picture of it and the owner came to me and said, could you please delete? I don't want pictures of my place on the internet. Oh, so sympathetic, très sympathique, très sympa. So I deleted. Of course, it's not here for me to show to you. Ah, oh, but anyways, Camino is divine, although it's no Sunday picnic. I jumped in the bus. Now I'm wrapped up in you can't deny it. Hit me like a hurricane of lightning. Baby, if I'm dreaming, don't you wake me. La señora, esta es la hierba que huele tan bien en todo el camino. No, por lo camino para hacer manzanilla. Manzanilla. Ok, ¿y esa? Esta es para tomar en infusión. Ah. Le echas un, una poquita en el agua y la hierves y la tomas. Oh, un muchas poquito. gracias. E esa no es la manzanilla. Y esta no. Es esta, herba Luisa. Herba Luisa. Herba Luisa. Muchas gracias, señora. De, ¿De qué parte eres? Soy de Brasil, pero vivo Brasil. en país, Países Bajos. Ah, bueno, sí, sí. Muchas gracias. De nada. Usted es muy amable. Bueno. <risa> ¿Para qué es buena esta señora? Ah, para los dolores de estómago. Oh, ¿tienes sí, sí. una para dolor de rodillas? No. <risa> eso no, más, eso es lo malo. Mis, mis rodillas están... ¡Cocidas! Sí. <risa> pero también ya me tengo que ¿De dónde vienes? Eh? Barcelos. Ah, y de, 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 Portu de, de Portugal. De Portugal. Sí, sí, un poquito lejos. Sí, bueno. Estoy caminando hace dos semanas. Ah. Tenía una, pues una esta... tía, unas primas. ¿Dónde, mamá? ¿A Barcelos en Portugal? Ah, en Portugal. Claro. Ah, en Portugal. Ah, en Portugal. Ah, en Suzanne, mm -hmm. what are the lessons that the Camino taught you? I think the biggest lesson, and I've done a lot of hiking, I also do a lot of horseback riding, and it's um, important that you walk your own pace and ride your own ride, and ride your, walk your own trail, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you.
So that's it, guys. Here I am. The day is breaking. I am at Praça do Obradoiro in front of the cathedral of St. James at the end of the way. When I was getting my Compostela, I had mixed feelings. The lady took my hands and asked, how was the journey for you? Tears began to fall down my face. And I, I said it was intense, difficult, beautiful, unforgettable. My heart opened, my knees sore. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I had a mix of feelings because I wasn't expecting my own reaction. For me, it was never about arriving. It was always about the journey, the way to Itaca. And here I am. The journey is just beginning. So I'm here on the line to eat at this very popular restaurant as I see and guess what? What's your name? Barbara. Como te llamas? Barbara. <laughs> what are the odds? ¿Qué fue lo más difícil en el camino? ¿Lo más difícil? Sí. ¿Qué ha sido lo más difícil? Uh, elegir la comida. <risa> Hacer una ruta gastronómica por la España. Eh, es que hace una ruta gastronómica por España. Muy difícil. En cada región hemos comido lo típico. La ruta cultural. Ah. Elegir la comida. Lo más difícil. Verdad, verdad. Sí. Because I'm grateful for the strength in my body and in my mind. <laughs> because people say to me, why are you so fit and well? And all those 
Yep. And there's a whole lot of reasons. Yep. But they are intertwined. It's not just your genetics, it's who you're with and the food you eat and the way you treat yourself yes. as a wonderful organism. And on top of that, it has opened my eyes to some of the religious things that I never had considered in the past. Yeah, I agree. And there's a good side and a bad side to them. And I tried to look at both and say, oh, what's going on here? And I mentioned in particular the gold. <laughs> and how did that get there? Um, so you can think about that for today. yourself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really grateful that I've lived this long to do this with you sort of folk and my wonderful wife and oldest daughter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <yeah. laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Take away my my takeaway is community and resilience, self resilience, and really feeling proud of myself for being resourceful and and completing something. I love that too. Okay, and mine was. Um, that we are all more similar than we are different and community definitely and also that I can follow through and I have the strength in my body and mind to complete something and also um, what else did I say? And also happy birthday. Oh yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> but also that if I have peace within myself, then I can have that presence and peace and compassion and spread that and give that to other people. Yeah. Take away. Okay, um, for me, this is the second time around. This time I wanted to share it with my family. So so that's been a real blessing, being able to share it with my husband and my lovely stepmother. So, um, walking together, sometimes in conversation, sometimes in deep conversation, um, in ways that we don't necessarily have when we're in the humdrum of our ordinary lives. There's a capacity I've, I've, I've also experienced with family and with strangers to go very deep and very quickly. You'll never see these people again, and it doesn't matter even if you do, but there's something about the rhythm of walking through space and time that opens our souls, opens ourselves to others at a very deep level. So it's a reminder of that. Beautiful. What's a takeaway? Yeah, mine's one of gratitude, really. Um, Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks for sharing this moment. Thank you so much. So, Barbara, what are your takeaway things about this community? My takeaway. First of all, I would like to thank you all for sharing this special moment, this present moment that is so precious with me. And second, I saw on the way people that you met five minutes ago, you don't know their first or last names, and they are already helping you. You say, I don't have a place to sleep tonight. They are already calling. I don't have this or that. I have a blister or my knees sore. They have a cream. Everybody's helping each other. We should have more of this in the world, in real life, like all the time. People pass through you and say, hi, how are you doing? Do you need anything? They don't ask you, what do you do? 
How much money do you have in your bank account? What are your beliefs? What is your religion? And we are passing now in a moment in the world where there is war going on in Israel, in Ukraine, and people from all sides are suffering and people are being abused. We should have that what we have here at the Camino. In the whole world, people helping each other, not asking, what are your beliefs? Doesn't matter. You are a human being that deserves to live, to have love, to be happy, to be fulfilled, <laughs> to fulfill your dreams, to, to know that you didn't come to earth just to share a meal, but to, to accomplish great things. And we should have this kind of bond and, and joy and, and friendship everywhere to anyone not asking who you are, where you come from. We are here celebrating, we are eating together, we are enjoying that we accomplished, but it all begins now. We have to, to bring all of the knowledge that we had here to, to our lives. And the integration of all this is the most important thing. And thank you guys. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.